Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. All right, so as I said before, um, our Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paint now comes in a form of uh, three different forms. We have it in a pre-treated blackout cloth. Uh, we have it in a... Um, a, a spray paint form, actually a screen paint form, which is a basically can be sprayed on with the paint sprayer. And also too, we have it now on a roll-on screen, which means now you can just use an everyday paint roller. Now with the kit, um, what will be different from the spray screen is you will get two drop cloths, you will get the paint can opener, you get frog tape, which is very important because that stuff gives you a laser cut edge when you're doing your um, projection, pre-existing projection screens, or if you're just going to be painting your wall or any kind of surface you're going to be using. Uh, you'll get uh, the as I said, paint can home. I gotta back things up. The paint can opener, the drop cloth. You'll get the, the uh, frog tape, and also too, you'll get the um, um, a replacement set of uh, paint rollers, which is the 12 inch rollers, and you'll also get the uh, roller itself. Okay, the paint roller itself. So I just had to recap on that really quick, and some instructions, which is really easy to use. So I'm gonna show you in this demonstration how easy it is to use. I know for some of you guys out there that are first time um, painters, this is the first time you're gonna be painting in a project screen you're worrying about all the different videos you have seen on YouTube and other places that are telling you that you have to take your roller and you have to paint it in an up and down formation or you can't go side to side or round to round because that's going to leave street marks on the screen or you can't press too heavy on the roller because that's going to cause imperfections in your screen that it's not going to be a problem with our crystal witch technology screen paint completely foolproof so Literally, the screen is so easy your kids can paint it. I know you've seen some demonstrations where people will tell you, you have to put a perfect application on the roller. Not so with our screen paint. And another thing which drives me crazy is when you see somebody telling you that, look, you have to paint the screen and you have to evenly dry it. It has to be evenly dried with a paint, they use a, um, no, not a paint roller. They use a, um, oof, let me get this together here, a hair dryer. They use a hair dryer or a heat gun and they'll go back and forth across the screen to evenly dry the screen. Yeah, okay, whatever. So basically with our kit, basically you just paint the screen and it dries 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes if you use a fan, depending on the size of your screen. So very easy to use. You do not have to wait a day or six or five hours. I don't know why you would have to, but I guess it depends on how they have their kit set up. All right, so we're going to paint in this really trashy uh, piece of cardboard and for fun, we have a piece of, it's a bit of plastic and canvas combined together. So if you decide you want to make a screen out of this, you can. All right. So we're going to take our paint here. I'm going to get my camera strap and throw it over the side real quick. And I'll grab my paint. And as you see, there's no special way I'm going about pouring it down. That's it. I'm just going to drop it down. And that's it. That's all I have to do. I'm going to get my roller. I'm going to get this strap out of the way of my view camera in the front. And I just go over Staples and all. Now this screen is stapled down. See how easy this is to do. Very easy to do. It's a one coat system. Doesn't take a lot to do it. See how fast I'm painting this in? Done on that side already. No sanding, no priming, none of that nonsense. This is a big sheet of cardboard. One coat, that's all it requires. Now this is the same material they use for making projection screens. Right here, kind of a vinyl kind of PVC material. It's going to go right over top of it. That's it. Look how fast it took me. Look how, my, look how I'm just rolling around. I can go in different directions. Doesn't make a difference. I could press heavy on this. Now watch this. I can press heavy on that. And I don't have to worry about my screen having any streak marks. I don't have to worry about whether or not I have a perfect application on my on my um 
on my uh, on my roller. I don't have to worry about that. This is how easy it is. You just go over the areas you didn't hit, and that's basically about it. You're done. All right, so there's my screen right there. Uh, put that roller up really quick. Grab my screen. Now I have a piece of glass right here that I previously painted in my last demonstration right here. It's my glass and there's some plastic right there. All right, so let's get this started really quick. See how beautiful this is gonna be. And let's get this started. So it took me no time at all to paint this in. You guys watch me. Right there, do it. Let me show you how much light we have hitting the screen. We have our three spotlights. Well, actually two spotlights. We just have that one light. Sorry about the whole spinning around with the camera there. Now you're going to have a little spotting on the screen because, like I said, uh, the paint's wet. So it's going to give off a little bit of glare. Other than that, you can see how amazing it looks. If you're a first timer, this is the first time you're painting your screen in, this gives you the comfort of knowing that it doesn't, it does, you don't have to be a professional to do this. Now on the sides we have previous uh, sample sheets that were actually surfaces that were coated. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit one of the spotlights. Show you that you can paint any surface you want. You can do it in no time at all. You know, it's not, it's not, when people tell you that the different ways you have to paint in a screen, I mean, come on, man, it's not freaking rocket science. You know what I mean? You're just painting in a screen. That's all you want to do. You want to be able to paint your screen, pop your popcorn, sit down with your friends and family, and just watch a movie or a game or whatever you're doing. But you don't want to spend hours and hours trying to figure out exactly how to paint the screen. Now let's hit this second spotlight. Now we just got the glare coming off the projector because like I said the screen's still going to be wet. And we'll hit the overhead light. Tell me it does not look beautiful. This is the kind of quality you need to demand from your paint. You know what I mean? Like the projector I'm using is the NEC VT595 projector. This is a cheap projector. This is 600 by 800 res. This is a $160, $80, $160 projector. And I can make my screen look like this. Throw my spotlight on again. There's my spotlight on. You can see the screen is lit up. Throw my overhead light on. Now the screens are using, as I said, the smart technology gain. It gives the screen the ability to be able to show a perfect, beautiful, bright picture in a well-lit environment. Look at this. I can do this on any angle and it still looks fantastic. Spotlight is now on the screen. Look at that. So you're gonna have areas that are still wet. But just look how beautiful that is with the spotlight. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration showing you exactly how easy it is to use our, um, our screen paints. It's very easy to use. I mean, pretty much anybody can do this. Not really hard to do at all. Literally, when I say that your kids could paint the screen in, I do mean your kids could literally paint your screen in. Bridget Jones is back. 
I'm gonna put something in real quick. Oh, it's like to put a little bonus feature in there real quick. We'll put our butterflies in. Hopefully it starts. My internet's been a little crazy all day. You can see how beautiful this is. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Now mine, the screen's drying. The screen is drying. I can get right up close, any angle I choose on this screen, and it looks fantastic. And how long did it take me to paint this screen in? No time at all. I need to put a timer out here so you can see how fast it takes me to paint the screen. Didn't make a difference if I painted it side to side. It didn't make a difference if I pressed heavy on the roller. Didn't make a difference. And I still got a 100 watt spotlight now on the screen. Like I said, in my demonstrations, you won't see the room dark. Got the other light on right here. So now that's the technology game kicking in again. So we got up to about a step back, show you what my lights look like that sit in the screen. Look at that. Look at the quality of my screen. And you can paint this on any surface you want. You can paint it on a canvas, you can paint it on wood, you can paint it on glass, you can paint it on sheet metal, whatever you choose, you can paint it on. I'll drop my lights again. The screen just looks incredible. This is how easy it should be. If anybody's going to sit there and tell you that when you paint a screen that you can't press down on the roller, that you have to paint an even formation, that it can't be side to side, if it's a whole lot of crazy instructions and afterwards you have to get, when you get done, it's going to take a day, it's going to take six hours, if you're going to have to hit it with a, um, with a, um, a, heat, a heat gun or you're going to have to hit it with a, um, a paint, um, uh, I'm sorry, a hair dryer, if they're telling you all that in the demonstration, then you need to move on. If you're looking at the screen and you don't see direct light hitting the screen, and the reason why we have direct light hitting the screen is because a lot of people have, and customers I deal with have a lot of condensed lighting. People have well lit environments, so you can't base it on the environment that you have in, in, in your room or in your living room. You know what I mean? You can't use control lighting because when this screen goes to somebody else, when they take it to their environment, it's going to fail. It's going to fail. So you have to be able to see what the screen can withstand. Now, my screens can take on 300, 700 watts of light directly to the screen. I know if I put my screen in any form of environment, it's going to look fantastic. And let's go back here real quick. For those of you that are watching this for the first time really quick before I sign off, let me show you my projector. This is my NEC VT595 projector, 600 by 800 res. We're doing this in 720p, 2,000 lumens. There's my screen right there. There's my screen right there. All this light hitting it. Yeah, I remember hearing somebody say, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you definitely get what you pay for. If you, get, if you get something that's not going to work right, that's what you're going to get. You get what you pay for. As a matter of fact, let's look at some let's look at some blues. Let's look at some blues real quick. And check out some fish. I like doing the fish because the fish show up show a lot of um of, of different colors. <laughs> it's cool commercial. Go back here a minute, see if we can get some time to go back. Oh, this is live. What are doing live demonstrations on here? That's pretty cool. I think I might have to check this out. They're doing live demonstrations. This is one of the uh, demonstrations that I use, and they're doing live demonstrations on here. This is freaking cool. Yeah, I'm going to start checking this out. All right, so we're going to do a little more. We're just showing off the fish. Fantastic. Now we'll hit our lights. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop this one over here. Still got the spotlight now on the screen. Look how amazing the screen looks. And this was a dirty piece of cardboard. Dirty, beat up piece of cardboard. And this is now my screen. Now, 
my time run, my time runs out on my camera I do apologize just got to show you more of this got to show you more it's, it's the screens the paint is that amazing it's that a paint amazing just look at it look at what I, I'm seeing right here I'm excited about my work I mean, you can tell by basically my demonstrations I'm really excited I love what I do you know I know you see, I remember watching, uh, uh, reading demonstrations uh, on, um, on ABS forums before I got banned. And um, I heard people talking about, yeah, you know, I'm spending like, like, like four hours and six hours sanding my wall down. So it's perfectly flat. So, it's, so it has no imperfections. And I'm priming the wall and priming it and priming it to get that perfect surface. And here I am. I can take a dirty piece of cardboard. I can take a wall and splatter it with paint. I can go right over top of it with my screen. And it'll look amazing. And I can use a cheap projector while doing it. Okay, guys. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hey, like and subscribe. i got so much cool stuff coming out. You have no idea. The uh, If you guys seen the demonstration we did on... Actually, I did. I keep saying we. I did on the uh, Silver Diamond against Supernova to see exactly how advanced the screens are. Um, next, we're going to be doing the Daylight um, High pro Progressive Grants progressive scan screen sorry about that i'm really tired i need some sleep so bad i got up at four o'clock this morning they're up four o'clock morning every day working all right so um and we have the um film screens i want to check out a couple other new ones that they have so i can't wait to get that started all right guys you guys all have a good one